What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Guys, you got to protect yourselves, all right? You got to get yourself one of these and cover your left eye. Protect yourself from these hackers, you know? Because you never know. They might even come up on my screen and just decide to hack my YouTube video, you know? Look. So... I don't know why I decided to do that, but obviously I'm in a good fucking mood. That's my account, okay? I got it back today, about five hours ago, all right? Motherfucker. And yeah, I'm going to show the name, the name that they changed my account to. I'm going to absolutely show it and give you guys a big fucking this, all right? I don't know if it's, you're the person that bought it or if you're the person that hacked it, but here's one of these, okay? And thank you for the Camila. And thanks for the five scrolls, the five scrolls that you left on my account, because you know what? I'm those, with, it, with those five scrolls, I ended up summoning those five fucking scrolls. And what do I get? I come back and I, I got my welcome back gift, by the way. It was a welcome back gift. Thank you very much. I ended up getting Poseidon. Um, fucking, fuck you. All right? Oh. Anyway. Just to get back on track of things, all right? Honestly, before my account was hacked and this whole huge hacking issue was going on, and I've said this before, I always thought it was people that bought accounts. I did not think it was people that were the original owners of the accounts and all that stuff. But after it happened to me, obviously, I believe. So, anyway... Look, I'm not going to stop, especially on this issue. If they don't, they kind of did fix the issue, kind of. Um, in the email that I got when they restored my account to me, they had me reset my password pretty much. And I gave them all the info. It's a good thing I had, I had all of the info. I was pretty accurate on the dates and everything. <clears throat> so um, they had given me the option. And I'm going to do it, obviously, of you're not allowed uh, of disabling Hive login. And you, the only way you can log in is through Google Plus or Facebook. Uh, pretty much they're dumping their problems on Facebook or Google Plus. Now, look, I kind of trust Facebook and Google more than I trust them. Sadly, I do. Because, well, I've, if, if somebody logs in, like I've logged into my Google account from multiple different devices. Sometimes I need to use my Google account to get things out. So, like, I, I went to my father's office one day and I needed to print something out. So, I'm trying to log in and I'm getting all of these emails to verify that it's me logging into my Gmail account. So, but you immediately get the emails. Same thing with Facebook. Years ago, somebody logged into my Facebook account in Chicago. Now, here's the deal about that. I've never been to Chicago. So, whatever. Anyways, here's another thing, though. Before we, we're not ending this, but before we end this, before we end my saga, my saga hacking issue, um, I had my phone number linked to my Hive account. I actually forgot all about that. And my phone number ended up bringing up other friends. So the way you check your phone number is you go to com to us Hive. You do exactly what I told you before. Underneath Hive, there's going to be a left arrow. So you click on the left arrow. And... Uh, you go to profile this time and then on profile it has contact and you press that little circle thing with the arrow and it goes and it syncs your phone number in and then it syncs your, your address book and it finds other people that did the same thing. And I actually, before I got my account back, that's how I ended up finding my Hive because every, I, every time I kept typing in my Hive ID, I couldn't find it. But then... I ended up, because I have other friends that have played the game, 
I ended up going from my from my contact list and finding that finding myself on on the on the thing. So anyway, point being is that's another web of bullshit that I didn't mention. Another web of bullshit. Seeking your Facebook. Here, this is the other problem. Think seeking your Facebook or your Google Plus. People can get your real name. What if you don't want your real name out there? Not only that, if they get your real name, all they have to do is search and find your email address. Like, it's, it's not that hard. You know, you could do a Google search, they'll find out all kinds of things about you. All kinds of things about you. If they go even further, they can find out cities you were born in and stuff like that. So, the, I don't know. I really don't know how far this can go. But from the way it looks, it can go very, very far. And um, I'm still livid about the situation. I really am. I'm, 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 I don't know if come to us after the second video was like, but it, it was four days anyway. It was four days between the emails. So it, they stayed consistent on that one. So I don't know if, I don't think, I don't think they saw the video, but all I'm really asking for is just a little more security, you know, like just, that, that's it. Just a little bit more, just a two-step authentication. Don't show our real fucking names. Stuff like that, you know, like, all right, yeah, you sync to Facebook. Why do you got to show my real name? Why do you got to show my real and full name? That's what I want to know. Why, 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 why? I'm actually kind of like my privacy in some ways. You know, I, there was a story I can't tell you about it, but it was it was a, it was of another YouTuber, all right, a summoner's war creator. When I met him, um, we all met up. It was me, him, another creator. So obviously, this was during Mobile Masters. Okay, we went, we all went out for dinner. We're taking pictures with each other, and one of the pictures, which was the best picture, we couldn't post it on Twitter. Why? Because it ended up having something revealing. On his shirt, revealing where uh, where he works out, like his gym shirt. So he was like, "I don't want that. I don't want to post this picture." I'm like, "All right, whatever, fine, you know." But because he, he had a story with somebody else, you know, and it's like with me, I, I'm just a little bit paranoid. I just don't want people to know my name, even though you know what? You could sit there, you could go through all my fucking credit cards that I don't have. You can use my social security number, do everything. That You're not getting nothing. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Enjoy. Enjoy taking nothing from me. Okay? Because at the moment, I have nothing. Okay? So enjoy taking nothing. All right? This was pretty much not my most valued possession, but probably my most valued possession to you. My most valued... They're not really possessions, but my most valued things are my dogs, okay? My most valued children. They're my children. Other than that, take whatever you want, you know? Just don't take the dogs from me. That's it. That's it. That's all I tell you. Take whatever the fuck you want. Don't take my dogs. You know, you could try. You could, you're not getting nothing. Trust me. You're, not, you're going to end up, you're going to end up wasting more time on nothing than anything else. So, but guys, look, this, this whole hacking issue is a really, 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 right? It's very annoying because this is people's privacy. Obviously, I'm not the only person that feels this way, okay? And um, it's not right. It, it's not right because they seriously got to fix the hive issues. That's really, that, 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 that to me is a big deal. They have to fix the Hive issues, the with Hive issues, Hive, Comptos, Login. I don't understand the Comptos logic. I really don't. It's like, you know what it is? This whole Comptos security thing, it's like a violent prank. It's just unfucking predictable and how far it could go. And it's very, very annoying with the world and everything, all this hacking that's going on, you know? Like, anyway, so... What I, seriously, if you got hacked, and it has to be a lot of people. It, it can't be like one or two people because it, it's not that one or two people is any less of an issue. It's, it's a big issue no matter what. It's just that unless we 
get together and we do it ourselves. You know, the only content creator that I heard even mention this might have been one or two other ones. I just didn't didn't uh, didn't hear about him. But schizophrenic gamer, he's the only one. He's been on it. Oh, and Claytano, I forgot about Claytano. They've both been on it for a very long time. But Schizo has been on it the longest. And he hasn't been hacked. And, you know, these, these issues are very, very, very bad. You know, like... But the thing is, I also... I check my Twitter more than I check other things. You know, leaving comments in Facebook is very hard for me to figure out. If you can send send me a comment on twitter my twitter handle it's always in the description below my twitter handle is at nick the greek one if you get hacked just send say i got hacked put at nick the greek one and put while you're at it at summoners war or at, at come to us while you're at it put all three of us on it so all of us can see it so that you know and i'll continue uh, this is this is just too much if this if this hacking continues because people are just getting hacked every day now ever since this whole Christmas thing, from there on, people have been getting hacked. It's like, holidays came along, Tom Twist went to sleep on the whole entire, sh like, this, it's been a disaster. All these shenanigans are going on. Come on. But anyways, look, I got, I got off for the next two weeks from school, and I'm just going to, I'm going to be working, but I'm going to be working on some more content. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to everybody later.